peace, peace, Ali. Coming back at you on behalf of L9Shop.com. In this video, I want to briefly talk about culture vultures and its effect on a conscious community. Alright, so if you don't know what a culture vulture is, a culture vulture is someone who intentionally comes into something that's popular and takes away from it or they try to capitalize off of it. So a culture vulture is basically an opportunist that comes in as something that's popular and tries to take away from it or take advantage of something that's already popping on, popping off. Like if you look at it, when Michael Jordan with the Bulls was winning all the championships, what did that create? It created a bandwagon. Tom Brady, you know, popular right now with the New England Patriots, they're winning mass Super Bowls. So what did they create? A bandwagon. Look at your favorite music groups, look at movies, look at anything that's popular. You're gonna get people that jump on the bandwagon and they don't even really know what they're doing. That's not what I'm talking about as far as culture vultures. Because metaphysics nowadays, 2019, is popular based on social media, based on documentaries, based on movies, based on YouTube, is very popular now. So with that, you're gonna have people that's popping up, you know, jumping into uh, Facebook groups, jumping on YouTube, talking about their experiences, writing books, et cetera, et cetera. They aren't necessarily culture vultures, but a culture vulture is someone who has no interest in this lifestyle. They have no interest in metaphysics, the occult, or spirituality, but they see an opportunity to take advantage of people that are. So who are these people? You can tell who they are because they weren't talking about metaphysics, they weren't living a metaphysical life, but now all of a sudden, they have tarot readings that they're offering. All of a sudden, they have workshops and retreats that they're offering. All of a sudden, they have products that they're selling that relates and ties to metaphysics, the occult, or spirituality. Those are culture vultures. They're intentionally coming into a culture or a community and trying to take advantage of people. So that's what a culture vulture is and this is how um, it relates to metaphysics. People that are coming in, taking away from what we're doing here, you know what I mean? I'm saying we very loosely because it's hard to define that. But they're not about this lifestyle. They're coming and trying to take advantage. My recommendation for to deal with these types of people is A, don't add energy to it. Don't give them any attention because they need attention. They're seeking attention, but yet they haven't earned it. So the best thing you can do is not give them any attention. No likes, no subscribes, no comments, no shares. In fact, I wouldn't follow them or I would unfriend them as well. So that's one thing you wanna do. Another thing that I recommend that you do is just stay in your lane and stay steadfast on your path. If you're into altar work and working with herbs, then continue to do that. Even if what you're doing is not quote unquote popular, it's a time and season for everything. For instance, when I first started talking about the ancestor altar, it wasn't too much information popping up about ancestor altar, working with ancestor money or Joel's paper. It wasn't popular. But nowadays it's popular based on myself and some other individuals who share and disseminate the information about the altar. It's popular now. So my point is, it wasn't popular when I started, but it ended up being popular. And because I had so much documented content, it placed me as someone who was a trusted authority as it relates to ancestor altars. So my point is, no matter what you're doing, it's going to become popular based on the energy you put into it. So if you don't think that your area, that your genre, that whatever you're focused on is not as mainstream as it could be, just stay patient and stay on your course. Eventually it will. Even if it's not popular, you can still, um, you can still make a lifestyle out of it. And if you're looking into entrepreneurship, spiritual business, you can still move towards that direction. But put it like this, if you don't have a lot of people in your area, that's automatically gonna make you one of the experts in that particular genre. So this has been Ali. If you wanna find out more information about myself and what we do, make sure to visit my main website, salimyers.com. If you're in need of metaphysical tools, supplies, ultra supplies, Joss paper, ancestor money, crystals, herbs, and all that good stuff, check out our online metaphysical store, l9shop.com, that's E-L, the number nine, shop.com. Until next time, this has been Ali. Peace.